this 08 bumper looks so good it's like hella hella aggressive and i think the muffler tips make it look really nice too what's up guys welcome back to another video on the channel today we are going to be painting the rear lip and my new spoiler let me show you guys what i got there it is guys the brand new mugen wing mugen whatever you call it it looks really really good i just got done sanding it with uh 600 and 800 grit i think i did a pretty good job it's still a little bit shiny especially in here which i should have done some more but in person it's pretty dull as you can get and this whole wing is fiberglass so i don't want to go too too crazy and then here's the ur lip this is actually a real ur lip i think in here it says on this one i saw it while i was sanding but there it is looks super super good this is the last time it will be silver and then you guys can finally stop complaining about me not paying my rear lip all right guys well i'm all suited up now with my arashi windbreaker that's sold out thank you guys and got the pants on shoes mask primer i'm going dummy with the heater ready to paint this thing with primer i just need to wipe it okay so something with that wipe it actually made the wing pretty glossy i mean i guess it needs to dry out a little bit more but it did the same thing here it's pretty glossy again so i think I don't know if it's good to paint or not. I honestly don't care. We're just going to hit it with the primer and then pray that it turns out good. By the way, do not forget to wet the floor. I think the uh, grease dried up. Holy shit. I'm gonna let all the paint dry right now just for five minutes and then I'm gonna hit it with two more coats. I should have chose a different primer because uh, if y'all know this, this whole bumper is silver so it kind of blends in really well and the lighting's not the best in here. So is this right here, this one's all silver too. By the way, wetting the floor really helps a lot. I used to have, remember last time I painted my rear lip or front lip, it was just really bad in here. But yeah, you guys get the idea of what I'm doing. I'll show you guys when I'm done. Peace. I just got done painting all of the pieces and I'm really happy about this primer job. It looks way better than my front lip. Like it's all one solid color. Okay, now that I look at it, there's like some light and dark spots, but maybe it's cause it's wet, I don't know. But this spoiler looks really good though. It's really consistent. And I made sure to get underneath this little arch right here. Hopefully paint sticks is good. And also, I hope that when I'm sanding primer, that none of the primer comes off and everything stays consistent like this. Yo, check out the new audio system in the garage. Just took uh, my old sound bar and put it on top of the fridge. And now we got music. So yesterday I had men's BRZ bumper up for auction yesterday. Yes, auction. And someone offered me $35 in McDonald's. And remember, men said that he didn't care. So here's the bumper right here. There's nothing wrong with it besides this tab right here, but it goes into the bracket easily. Yeah, it's in the headlight bracket. Headlight bracket's in there. Yeah, this bumper is pretty mint. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit before the guy comes and picks it up. So Matt, if you're watching this, bro, you better give your brother a big kiss on the cheek, man, because uh, he's he's the one that sent this to you, and you know he told me that you've been wanting this bumper. So yeah, see you soon, bro. Right now, I got the heater going on, trying to warm up this whole room, and it's working. It feels like it's about like 60 degrees in here, so I'm just gonna let it chillax for a little bit more so they get here, and then I'm gonna start doing the base coat. I don't really know if I need to sand that much because there's not really much texture in the primer. But I'm just gonna go over with 800 grit just in case and try to get the overspray off. Same thing over here too. I don't wanna to sand too much because you guys can see some of the old color behind the primer. And I did four coats on both of these. So I guess you need three cans if you're doing this. So I pulled up in the caddy. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Nice to meet you, right? Yeah, man. My name's Brandon. Brandon Matt. Nice to meet you. What's up? All right, so um, 
Matt, as you can tell, is the winner of the bumper or the winner of the bidding. And here it is, bro. It paint matches with your uh, FRS. So. Yeah. Right, yeah, for sure. Hey, but one more thing, bro, before you walk off with it. So I said that only a subscriber can have the bumper with any um, offer. So are you subscribed to the channel? Yeah. You are? Let me see. No, no, actually, I don't <laughs> know. How... You got to subscribe to the channel, bro. All right. My phone's what, in the car, bro. All right, all right, hey, come on, we're going, we're going to do it right now. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Boom. All right, man. Boom. Hell yeah. Living up to the yes, deal. Sir. Appreciate yes, it, bro. Yes. Dang guys, we're out here doing God's plan on Before the Storm. Well, this couldn't have been done without my brother Min because he was generous enough to offer up the bumper for free. So I thought we would uh, put it to good use and give it away to someone like Matt because that food wanted to throw it away. But yeah, so I just got done sanding everything. It's still rough. Like um, when I run the microfiber towel through it. I mean, when I touch it, it's smooth, but it's just when I run it with the microfiber, it's just keeps on catching. It has to be like that so the paint can stick on, right? So yeah, let's get this base coat on. I am using Dupli color, perfect color match. Nighthawk Black Pearl, and I don't think one can will be enough for the spoiler, nor will two be enough for that whip. fourth coat and it's looking pretty good it's still a little bit wet i think let me see no it's pretty dry so i'm gonna hit it with tack and then we're gonna spray it with the 2k clear here's the rear lid got like a little imperfections here but i think the clear coat should fix it, it looks good far away at least so this time i will mix this all the way that red cap goes in there and then So, and then I shake this off for two minutes, I think, and then we'll get spraying. The garage door is open right now because I'm not trying to die. Like, all I have is this little mask and the heater, that's it. So, sure, it's like a little chilly outside, but I'd rather be safe. kind of made a little mistake here with the nozzle if y'all can see from the footage i had it spraying uh, side to side so it kind of messed up the flow but i'm sure this could sand off maybe but if it can't then it doesn't really matter looks good and far away and then this rear lip right here looks super super good like look at the shine in that guys this whole can right here is done Okay, I cannot wait till the final coat. I'm gonna do three coats and then that's it. So I'll see you guys on the third coat. So here is the rear lip. There's like a lot of dots and stuff, but I think that's from my base coat. It's not dust, guys. It's a lot of orange peel, but I'm gonna buff and sand it. And here's the spoiler. Looks really legit, guys. Here's the inside of the spoiler. I made sure to go like a lot, a lot with the clear coat. I'm gonna use here too. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh yeah, I missed a couple, but you won't be able to see any of that. Three days later. Yo, what's up guys? It is another day. I've been letting this stuff dry out for a couple, uh, I think like two days I let it dry out. 
uh, don't worry, I didn't put it right in my room when it was still wet. Uh, it was pretty cold in the garage, so I moved it in here. I don't want to put the spoiler on yet because I might risk having to fall off the car and I don't want to do that because I just painted it. So for now, we're just going to put this on and install this for another video. Check out this metallic flake. It looks so good. Don't mind all of the smudges. I was like touching it earlier and that could wipe off. But we need to install one more of these uh, reflector thingies. My friend painted it gray, but I don't really mind. It looks pretty cool. The way you put this in is that there's a little sliding thing there. And as you can see there, it slides in. So you put the siding first, slide it in there, and then push it in. All right, so here's the Mugen badge. Just gonna put it in here like this. I need some 3M tape and it'll hold in just fine. The problem is that it doesn't fit well inside. Like there's a lot of space. So yeah, I think that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be really tight fit, but uh, you can't expect that much from a rep. It looks really good though. I can't wait to put it on. All right guys, take one more look at this. When I put this lip on, this car is gonna look like a brand new car. By the way guys, I do have one surprise for you. It would be pretty unfair if I didn't show you guys how the wing looked like and I got to see it. So I brought the wing out and we're gonna mock it up and see how it looks. By the way, I did tape on the Mugen plates as you can see it doesn't fit that well well i didn't center it or even try but yeah it's on there and look at all the orange peel too there it is damn can't wait to get this on let me know your honest opinions on this guys do you like it is it rice or nice let me know wow i am so in love with this wing and the thing is crazy is that this is a replica wing and i think i paid as much as a real wing would be because a real wing would have been like 300 and this was about 287 because of shipping but in total it was 180 but with the paint and everything then it came out to 300 even over i'm gonna put this wing up real quick and then we're gonna head to a parking garage to get some pictures i'll see you guys there and we're gonna see how this lip looks like under better lighting Oh, by the way guys, I forgot to end off the video. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm just gonna get some pictures of the TSX with my new camera. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta show you guys. I got a brand new camera. Shouts to my girlfriend for getting me this. Instantly wiped. But she got me this uh, Sony A6000 camera and it's pretty sick. And I cannot wait to start vlogging with this thing. So hype right now guys, but I'm just gonna get some pictures and then head out. But yeah, this is a pretty new spot I found. It's a parking garage. And also check out the rear lift. I wanted to take it out here, see it in better lighting. Ooh. Well, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for the video today. Please leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I try to upload weekly videos of the TSX. And yeah, if you guys like videos like this, go ahead, subscribe, man, subscribe, it's free. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Make me move.